One of the, of the uh, leading weaknesses, and this was seen very much in the 2008 uh, election, and it's certainly uh, true today too, is the great white middle uh, is still leans more towards uh, the Republicans. Uh, it's still very suspicious of uh, what they see as big government, uh, very suspicious of um, whatever they uh, can identify as a liberal agenda. Uh, in the mid-1960s, at the height of the Great Society, actually, two uh, political scientists, Lloyd Free and Hadley Cantrell, uh, made the very wise statement that Americans are uh, uh, ideological conservatives and operational liberals. And that is still very much true, especially for this sort of great white middle. And of course, um, up until the 1960s, 1970s, many of the people in the, who considered themselves white middle class were also union members, or at least knew people, had people in their family who were union members. That is less and less true. Um, and that as long as that group is a major group in the population, uh, that will be a problem for Democrats. Um, Obama, as you probably know, won only 43% of the white vote. He won <coughs> less than 40% of uh, the vote of non-college educated whites who are not union members. Among union members, uh, white union members, he won close to 60% of the vote. So being a union member in America makes all the difference if you're a white person about how you vote. Um, and uh, the prospects for unions uh, becoming stronger in the United States in, in coming years are not very good. Um, I won't go into the details given the time, but we can talk about that. So there's a problem there because obviously um, uh, it's not enough to have the demography on the side on your side, not enough to have the general political zeitgeist on your side. Uh, you also need organization, and and unions are the one and have been historically the one organization since the 1930s which are able to put together people, working people of different races, uh, both genders. Um, and we're able to project a general sense of what in Europe is called solidarity, uh, even though that term has fallen to disuse in the United States. And so that's still the big, one of the big questions uh, for progressives uh, going forward.